Hello, this is Frankie from AboutScript.com, and we're going to be taking a quick look at regular expressions. Um, basically, regular expressions are a way to express patterns that you see in text, and using those, you can find specific text that matches those patterns. You can um, replace those patterns with other information, sometimes even based on those patterns. It's, uh, it's very flexible and has a lot of potential and more people should learn how to use it. So we're gonna uh, do some basic examples in this video and maybe get on to more advanced topics later on. So in this folder we have three files. We have onyx.txt, we'll get to that in a second, healthinfobreach.csv, which is like a, a file you'd use in Excel or something similar, and regex, regular regex regular expressions dot pi for python so we're going to start up this little I just wrote a test program that basically uses python's regular expressions on whatever data you give it and we're going to do our onyx dot text file but uh, actually first we should see what's in that file so we're going to go alright we have the quick onyx goblin jumps over the lazy dwarf and it actually has every letter in the English language in it. Um, so we're just going to try matching a few things in there. So we're going to start running the script. Alright. So let's say we want to match. Hmm. How about words that start with O? So, in regular expressions, there's a few symbols. There's the dot, which matches anything. Um, and then there's escapes, like I could say a digit. You do a backslash and then a D for a digit, or backslash and a W for a word character, space, etc. Um, I'll post a reference along with this video so you can look up the different symbols. We're not going to go into all of them right now. There's a lot of them. And so we're going to say O because we want our word to start with an O. And then we're going to say any number of word characters we're going to include here. So we're going to do a backslash W for the word characters. And we do plus say any number of them. Uh, there's also star which means zero more but we're going to do one or more which is plus. Alright and now we have all the words that start with O and then have any number of things after them. Any number of uh, letters we'll say for now. Alright and um, really that's that's all there is to the basics. It's You just put a bunch of pieces together and you can make really complicated and really really useful in specific situations patterns. Um, Alright, well we're going to get into the more advanced things and we're going to touch this health info breach file which I found on the internet in the next video. Thank you. Bye.